Hi everyone, it's Steven Schleicher, deep in the bowels of the Major Spoilers HQ in our MakerBot laboratory to talk to you about making a Batarang. If you stuck through the credits of our recent LEGO build, the Research Institute, you know that I said thank you to Chris Wilson who was able to procure that set for me, and in return I sent him a Batarang. How do we make the Batarang? It's simple with our MakerBot Replicator 2. Let's take a look at how this build came about. First off, we start in Thingiverse, and we just simply do a search for Batarang, and there's a lot of them there. I mean a lot of them! Now, I will tell you this, if you don't want to use Thingiverse, there are a number of different repositories for 3D models. The one that I think that you might want to check out is yegi.com, Y-E-G-G-I. It's kind of the Google for uh, 3D models that you can download and print on your 3D printer. Uh, they come from places like Thingiverse. It also searches like My Mini Factory and a whole bunch more. Uh, go check that out. From there, it's simply a matter of bringing it into the uh, slicing program, the MakerBot slicing program, and determining how good a quality we want this. Now, I am going to print this with rafts because I like using a raft as it keeps the um, build stuck to the plate without it coming loose, as often happens. I shouldn't say often happens, as sometimes can happen when you're working with a 3D printer. You also want to decide on the quality of the print and the print speed. I like to go a little bit slower. I think it ensures a quality print. And from there, you put it on an SD card and send it to the printer. For those of you wondering, the GoPro camera that's being used to capture this footage is actually mounted to my MakerBot Replicator 2 with parts made on the MakerBot Replicator 2. It's really cool! Once the build is finished, we can take it off the build plate. Uh, oftentimes it'll just come right up, but sometimes you need to use a putty knife uh, to uh, give it a little extra uh, reason to come loose. Then it's time to remove the rafts. Uh, again, the rafts usually just pry right off, but using a putty knife can also help ensure that that thing gets off if it gets stuck on there. One thing I didn't show you earlier was uh, turning on supports for this particular model. Uh, this piece has some overhangs, and when you're printing overhangs, you don't want them to droop because, you know, a 3D printer can't print in mid-air. So you uh, use supports, and that builds it up and gives it something to hang on to when it gets to this part of the model. How do you get the supports off? Kind of the same way you get the rafts off. You just pry it off. Now you can, again, use your fingers, or you can use a putty knife, or in this case, I'm just using a uh, pair of pliers to pull it all off. Uh, you could use a, uh, an X-Acto knife to cut it away, pick surprise, whatever that you use to break it off, go for it. After that, you probably want to smooth things down so that the parts move like they should. So a little bit of sandpaper. I'm not using a fine grit here. I'm just using something that has uh, enough roughness to get all the extra bits and pieces off. And from there, I can put the four pieces together. It fits together really nicely. Simply go to my hardware store and buy a bolt, slip it through, and we've got a Batarang from the, uh, the Arkham series. And you can see how easily it folds up and, and puts back together. And that's all there is to it. I've actually been building a lot of Batarangs. Uh, they're a lot of fun to just see print out, and I just use them to decorate the Major Spoilers HQ. Or 
am I? When I'm not out fighting crime at night, I want to put my Batarang on display. Now, this did not come with a display stand, but someone was kind enough to model one and put it up on Thingiverse, and here it is, and it fits perfectly right there, and I can, uh, and I can put these two together, and I can display this either uh, out or up. It doesn't matter. Either way works. It's a great little stand. It's got a little uh, Dark Knight logo on there. Uh, it is a, a great stand. I'll put a link to all of these uh, products, both of the models, the Batarang and the stand, down in the show notes. Uh, if you have any questions, just send them to podcast at Majorspoilers.com or, heck, we've got a comment section. Use the comment section. I will answer the first 10 uh, questions that you post in the comment section about anything related to this build or 3D printing in general. If you want to get your own 3D printer, there's also a link in the uh, description uh, to our Amazon store where you can buy your own 3D printer and a little bit comes back our way if you do. And it helps support this show, helps support this channel and everything that we do at Majorspoilers.com. Speaking of, we've got a website, Majorspoilers.com. That's where you can find all sorts of pop culture and goodness from comic books, movies, and TV, and a whole lot more including some pop culture 3D builds. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at Major Spoilers. And until our next 3D build from the Major Spoilers Laboratory, 